Real gospel with real harmony and real grooves. We give it to you fresh and first. As I told you, I'm going to the telephone line. I'm going to talk to one of my dear uh, sisters out of Seattle, Washington, Debrina Jackson Gandy. I, I don't need to really introduce her, but for those of you who do not know her, she is all about healthy relationships. She's the national best-selling author of Sacred Pampering Principles and a whole lot of other great stuff. I just want to say good morning to my angel, uh, Debrina Jackson again, who got up really early. I owe you a special favor, don't I? Yes, you do. It is not <laughs> even yet 7 a.m. on the West Coast, but I would do it for you, darling. I love you <laughs> so much. How you doing, Debrina? I am doing so well. You know, it's been a few months since we spoke, yes. and this whole did you by the love lies uh, concept and half day intensives I'm doing with women and this shorter three hour seminars I'm doing with men uh -huh. is really taking off. Absolutely. So I have been busy actually starting to travel around the country. The requests have started to come from around the country to um, teach my course and it is changing lives and people are getting engaged and married and mm -hmm. into committed relationships and mm -hmm. all kinds of wonderful, powerful results um, once they come through my course. So I'm having fun. Absolutely. And, and Debrina, just share with the listening audience a little bit about why you're so passionate about people developing healthy relationships. Uh, you've done a series on my show, The Songbook of Gospel. You have truly blessed me, and I'm still single, Debrina. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's wrong with that. Absolutely. Cause Nothing's I wrong with that. There, you know, being single is a blessing because there's self-work uh -huh. that we're supposed to do while we are still single that we usually don't do because we're always pressing to get married. So singledom is a very particular phase of the emotional, spiritual, and communication maturing process. Mm. And we tend not to even be eligible to be in a relationship. And that's why so many of them turn sideways and, and leave us dissatisfied and irritated and frustrated, but it was really my own marriage that provided me with the most powerful insights and illuminations, um, and my marriage went through a breakdown and a crisis and was able to be restored mm -hmm. and renewed and now transformed to being better than ever, mm -hmm. but in that three to four year period where we were working to restore our marriage, um, God did some serious work on me. I call it Project Sabrina. Okay. <laughs> and during that time, what became revealed to me is what I now call the love lies that we are operating from as women and the love lies that men are operating from. Two completely different sets of love lies, transparent to us both, and the culprits of the what I call the disastrous disastrous results that too many of us are experiencing in the realm of love relationships. So I'm talking about a completely new blueprint. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about a new paradigm. I'm talking about upsetting the apple cart in terms of how we've been doing relationships and what we've come to accept as the norm. And the love lies really help us to bust that old norm apart. Mm -hmm. And the love truths that I introduced really set women free, set men free, so we can finally experience deep satisfaction and fulfillment. But, you know, it's kind of like, you know, having a chessboard and you keep trying different moves mm. on the chessboard. Right. Wondering why you keep, you know, losing. I'm not talking about yet another strategy on the same relationships chessboard. I am introducing a completely new chessboard that gives us completely different results. Wow. So that's what has people so excited. It is literally blowing minds. Jaws are on the ground yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, in the sessions because what was transparent, I help it to become apparent so people can be set free. Great. Well, you know, Debrina, I I'm really curious, and maybe some of our new listeners and people who have been listening to me uh, on the radio station, they're probably curious about a couple of these love lives. I, I want you to <laughs> talk briefly about one of them before we take a break, and then we'll come back and talk a little bit more, give you a website, and share whatever God sh wants you to share with us today. Go ahead. Well, I'll share one. Okay. Like you, like <laughs> you, uh, I'll share one, and this is a love lie that applies to women. The fascinating thing about the love lies is they're very gender specific. Mm -hmm. 
And when I share this with men, they are unaware that this is a reality for the majority of women. So one of the love lies that women are fed, and it actually starts being introduced at a very young age, very young age, um, is, the, is what I call the soulmate love lie. Mm. Now, I spell soul two different ways, S-O-U-L, mate, soulmate, slash S-O-L-E, mate. Mm-hmm. And what this love lie tells us women is that in this vast world of 7 billion human beings mm-hmm. with about 3.45 billion of those being men, mm-hmm. that there's only one single, solitary, possible human man with whom we can have a deep soul level connection. Wow. Only one. Now, as crazy as that may sound, mm-hmm. that is a love lie that is fed to us over and over again, reinforced with Valentine's Day, on and on and on. And it is the, the culprit, mm-hmm. the source of so much of our dysfunctional behavior as women. That's only one. I've got 25 love lives, but that's oh my. the mothership love life for women. Right. And, you know, I was talking to a woman the other day. She goes, well, I don't believe that. And I said, well, you would probably be amazed at how much your behavior is a function of that mm-hmm. love lie mm-hmm. because it's injected into you very insidiously. Yes. If you were acculturated in America, you have absorbed that love lie. If you've watched any movies, mm. if you've read any women's magazines, if you've read any media headlines, etc., 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 sitcoms, then you have been infected with that love lie unbeknownst to you. Wow. And if I looked at your behavior interacting with men, I bet I would see the remnants of the, that love lie showing up in your behavior. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to believe you until I get to observe you for a while. Okay. So if you were acculturated in America, that's one of the major love lies, Simone. Wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking to Debrina Jackson Gandy live from Seattle, Washington. We're going to take a break. She's going to come back and share a little bit more. Maybe I can get her to tell me one more love line. Then we're going to talk about uh, the m M&M, m the Debrina Jackson Gandy's Mentorship Manifestation Circle. It's a 21-week telecourse that changes women's lives. You don't want to miss this. Stay right with us. We'll be right back after this. If you use a smartphone or similar mobile device,